right guys what is up welcome back to another borderlands 3 video guys and today we're gonna be going back to another vanilla weapon puppies and uh yeah what we're gonna be using guys i've talked about this gun a little bit in uh, some of the previous showcases uh but that is going to be none other than the butcher right now this was the second gun that we ever showcased here on the channel uh <laughs> way back in mayhem 3 was Times were a lot different back then. Obviously, over uh, over the year and a half, oh, I won't say year and a half, but over over time, this puppy has received some nerfs. Uh, but we're gonna be back at it today. Uh, if you want to go ahead and get this puppy, it has a high chance to drop from the Raging Titan located in the Slaughter Shaft. Uh, but this thing is a pretty frequent world drop as well. It can be uh, obtained from Crazy Earl uh, via Ludograms, uh, obtained from Dinklebot located in the Skywell uh, 27 on Promethea. So just keep that in mind. Uh, special uh, special effects of this gun is that obviously if fi it's fully auto, it, fi it fires hella fast. It has a reduced pellet count and has a rant and it has a uh, it well it'll reach it'll refill a random uh, portion of the magazine whenever it's fired, uh, which is pretty pretty cool. This thing only I'm pretty sure this thing only drops in times three, uh, but you know it's all good. It's all good. Uh, we got a consecutive version of it today, um, which is very very nice. You know I love consecutive so much shotguns. Although the butcher does have a lower uh, pellet count than uh, every like most shotguns in the game that are not slugs you know uh and then we do have our fire old god here and then we do have the minesweeper as well uh five out of five fire and skagging you know what i'm saying let us see it we got the consecutive pearl which is very very dead uh dangerous and deadly especially when you combine that with consecutive it's annoyment and then we do have the uh on throwing grenade annoyment here with our that being our hex grenade uh combine that we got our shield of attribution tree pretty simple uh we got a lot of uh stuff going in the bottom of smack tree just make sure that we have our uh, butcher going up at, uh, mostly all the time we don't really need that much in the iron banks because this thing has such a low max size to begin with it's not really all that important uh plus this thing is gonna we're gonna be able to hold this this uh, the fire button on this thing for a good amount of time just because of how the butcher works and everything especially being on mo's with our bomb smack tree being as full as it is we're gonna get a lot of use out of this puppy we have nothing in the bear mother tree and then we have once again our standard demolition woman tree and obviously guys we do have our hammer down protocols but uh, yeah guys all that stuff being said and out the way let's just go ahead and uh head over to the guardian takedown all right everybody we're here at the guardian takedown got our butcher and everything we're gonna go ahead and put in some work real quick though guys just want to say that you know if y'all have been enjoying the content you know y'all like daily borderlands 3 and all that good jazz uh make sure to subscribe man we do we do post daily borderlands 3 content here on the channel uh, so you know what I'm saying? If that is something up your alley, uh, subscription is greatly appreciated by your boy here. But, uh, yeah, dude, honestly, I feel like the Butcher, uh, has had a interesting road, right? Like, I don't really know that many people that use this shotgun hardly anymore these days. But it's not gonna stop us from showcasing this puppy. I used to love, love this shotgun. Uh, I used to have a build, uh, before Mayhem 10 came out called Frost Shadow Flak. And uh, believe it or not, dude, uh, the <laughs> Butcher was one of our main weapons inside of that build. It was a terror build uh, with Lucian's Call, Extra Projectile Anointments, and all that good stuff. But, uh, yeah, man, like, honestly, the shotgun, right? You know, the shotgun's interesting. It's interesting. It, it's very unique as it fires definitely the fastest in the game. Uh, you know, it, you know, you can hold the trigger down with this thing for a long time. Plus, you know, on Moe's, you're going to get a lot of bang for your buck with this puppy, dude. Just because, you know, you have access to the bottomless mag tree, which is very, very nice for a shotgun like this. Especially, you know, since it does have relatively low mag size. And just the way that the butcher works, you, you can get a lot of use out of this thing. And overall, it's just very, very awesome. But, uh, yeah, I mean, dude, we're out here putting in some respective work. And, uh, yeah, guys, we're on the road to that big 6K. So you know what I'm saying if y'all uh, do enjoy, you know, the content all the good chance because you know YouTube tells me like 80% of the people who watch the stuff aren't even subscribed, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like help help your boy out. You know what I'm saying? It's free, and uh, you can always unsubscribe later if you if you so choose to. I can't fucking stop you. <laughs> I also can't force you to you know subscribe for me, but you know I would greatly appreciate it. But I um, mean, yeah, dude, like the butcher, it's 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 solid, man. It's not terrible. It's relatively solid. But, you know, we're out here, dude. We're out here. We're putting in that work. I don't really know of too many Hyperion shotguns in this game that are just overall insanely good. I mean, like, we have things like the Heartbreaker, which I feel like doesn't get talked about. We have the Slow Hand, which I feel like doesn't get talked about. And then we have, like, things like the Fearmonger, which is a unique weapon just because, you know, it's only, you know, it's only available for a certain time during a certain period of time. 
uh, each year. Obviously, that being the Bloody Harvest event, uh, which comes uh, which comes around on you know around uh, early October because you know Bloody Harvest, Halloween, you know and that's kind of how it goes. Uh, we'll see, you know, how, if they keep supporting this game, you know, next year, maybe we'll, we'll hopefully get another, you know, Bloody Harvest event, we'll see, we might be level 70, or like 69, it's level 69, uh, by that point, but we'll see, dude, anyways, though, y'all, let's go ahead, head over to the, uh, the Malamon Takedown, and I'll see you guys over there. Alright, y'all, we're here at the Guardian, I, dare I go again? <laughs> we're at the Malawan Takedown, guys, our home, our place of residence. We just own this place, bro. This is our home. This is where we get this is where we get shit done. But that I mean, this is where we showcase all of our weapons. This is uh, you know, at this point in in this game's life cycle, bro. This is just like the spot to showcase guns. At least at least in my opinion, you know. We've done over 300 showcases, and I think I think at this point we probably would have more. I think showcases that involve us being in the Malawan takedown. Versus, uh, like, all the Athena showcases that we used to do uh, earlier back in the day. But, I mean, dude, the Butcher's performing relatively well, man. I mean, like, you know, this thing isn't really, like, all-powerful. It's not a jaw-dropper anymore. But it's definitely pretty useful. I, hex grenades. Stop. Dude, okay, I'm, I'm going to say this right now. I am really sick and tired of getting downed by my own grenades, especially when they're homing and I'm not near an enemy. Like, ugh, ugh. It just frustrates me, man. It just, it just does. It just hurts. It just hurts, man. Let's go. Open this door. Cracking. Oh, open this door. Open this door. Let's go. Let's fuck up the Kraken with our McButcher. We can do it. We can do it. You know, I got down literally in the nick of time before I was going to hop into my Iron Bear. I ain't going to cap. Not enough space. That's dumb. Only action skill in the game where you get the, where there's not enough space to use it. That's so goofy. All right, Kraken. You're done, brother. We're going to go ahead and keep this puppy moving. All right, everybody. We're here at the bridge. And, uh, dude, we're gonna have our butcher put in that work, man. Like, the bridge is always a great place to showcase weapons, man. Just another reason why the Malawan takedown is just that place to do showcases these days, man. It's just awesome, like, overall. The butcher itself may not be that awesome. Oh, fucking minesweeper. <laughs> From that distance? Jeez. But, you know, I mean, like, we're gonna, we're trying to, we're, this thing's, it's trying its hardest. It's trying its hardest out here, I mean. It, it's trying its hardest. As you can see, dude, I mean, it, it's it's out here putting in that work. It's trying, it's doing what it must. It is doing what it's mu it must, man. It's not, it's not a potato. It's it's definitely, it, I, best Hyperion shotgun. I don't even know what the best Hyperion shotgun is, dude. I don't know what I would give that to. I'd have to use all the Hyperion shotguns first. Wait, no, I don't. I know it's the reflux. I'm dumb. <laughs> you know, I'm tripping. My bad. I forgot that the that the reflux and brainstorm archetype exist. Uh, wow, that's a dumb move. Yeah, I bet I look real dumb talking about like the Hyperion shotguns earlier in the video. Pretty sure some of you guys left comments whenever I oh uh, did not mention the reflux whenever I was talking about like the slow hand and the heartbreaker and the fearmonger and the and the butcher. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, I, I yeah the uh, the reflux is definitely the best uh, Hyperion shotgun in the game. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, that, yeah. One hundred and twenty, dude. Uh, I blame that down on the hex grenade. <laughs> but uh, dude, the fact that the butcher can like fire for as long as things like a any like an SMG or an assault rifle while having the damage of of like a shotgun, it's just respectable. You know, you like to see it, dude. You like to see it. You like to see it. Oh, wait for it. Wait for it. And we're gonna. Oh, okay. IB, I do appreciate that. Let's just go ahead and kill a few more enemies, guys, and we're going to head over to the Wotan Schmokdon Schmackdown of the century, fellas. Uh, we'll kill you, and then I guess we'll go ahead and down this guy, and then uh, I'll see y'all over there. All right, everybody, we're at the Wotan Schmokdon Schmackdown. Uh, and I w actually did it go ahead this go around, and I did... I did actually put on a, a corrosive old god just because uh, the Butcher, I don't feel like this thing is going to be able to do any brute forcing. 
Oh boy. Oh lord. Yeah, this is even with corrosive damage. There's no way in hell we were gonna be able to brute force our way with this uh with this damage. No way. Mm-mm. Mm-mm mm mm. Hop back in Ivy, dude. We're gonna do a lot of in and outs, in and outs, in and outs. Alright, let's go ahead. Let's walk all the way around. Thought the shield would uh turn the other way. It's all Gucci. Let's get rid of that. Look at this. Let's go ahead, hop back into IB. Y'all can hold that. Get off my face, Breach. Breach, Breach. Send that puppy that way. It's not going to get there. Oh, it did get there. Got some chip damage off of him. Got some chip damage. Got some chip damage. Let's get back into work, baby. Let's, let's ride these coattails. Let's fucking wreck this dude. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, gosh darn it. All right, then we'll uh, shoot this stinger getting tagged by freaking Narnia land over there. Love to see you. No, you don't. You don't love to see that. You don't like to get targeted by Narnia. Come on. One. And a two. Let's go ahead. Don't want to hop into IB yet. I want to, because I want to, I like to save IB for whenever we go to give Wolf on the nice bear hug. And. All right. Let's give him a nice little, nice little bear hug. Boom. And. We'll, Boom, boom! Just sending him everywhere. Dodge. And, uh, let's... let's come on, baby. Need some Minesweeper procs. Need some Minesweeper procs. Minesweeper procs. Minesweeper procs. Minesweeper procs. Where, where's my Minesweeper procs? Sit down. Hop back in. Three, two, one. Let's get over there. Let's go wreck this dude's face. Come on, baby! You ain't got no smoke. There you go. How's that feeling, man? Oh. Tell me how that giant ass robot can jump like a bunny rabbit. It's 100% not a bunny rabbit, though. Come on. All right. Let's go, boys. Come on. Let's reload this puppy. And uh, you're done, brother. All right. Now there's only one fucker left. This guy. This guy right here. The top half. Uh, and, uh, your old glitch strikes again. We'll just, I guess we'll go ahead and get the confirm screen real quick and shoot this thing. Uh, if y'all didn't know, that if whenever this, uh, this guy, like, glitches out on you, this, the black part is what you want to shoot to actually confirm to break it like that. So, uh, if y'all didn't know that, uh, this, well, you might learn something. Then I can actually not feel useless. <laughs> Guys, that is going to just about wrap up the video. Hope y'all did enjoy the video. If you guys did enjoy the video, then make sure to drop your love and that like button as well as to subscribe. If y'all are new, guys, we do post daily Borderlands 3 content. We're on the road to 6,000 subscribers. So real quick, let's take a last look at our setup. The McButcher. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Corrosive and Fire Old God. We have our Minesweepers. Oh, it's so good. We have our Pearl of Ineffable Knowledge. We have our Grenade Thrown Hex Grenade. Um, and then here's our Demolition Woman Tree Standard. Then our Nothing Bear Mother Tree. Our Standard Bomb Smack Tree that you love to see. And then our Shield of Retribution Tree. Anyways though guys, with all that good jazz being said, hope y'all did enjoy the video. My name's Cree, and we'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out everybody.